Many people think that courage is not being afraid. You know, I've had a business since I've been 13 years old and I found that to be absolutely not true. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you're often in a place that you're afraid. So what is courage? I invested 18 years of my life in the Royal Australian Navy. I retired as a commander. I deployed to the Middle East. I was in the tsunami when it hit Indonesia, being there with the, the troops on the ground, helping to uh, help all the people in that community. And what I found was courage was talked about a lot. But when I tried to take courage from a military sense and put it into a business context, there was a few things that were a little bit different although there are some similarities. Here's the things, there are three things that I found to be critically important as an entrepreneur to build that courage, and courage is incredibly important. It's a courageous role. You know what, being an entrepreneur is really not for everyone. It's just for the people who choose. There are three things to get entrepreneurial courage. I'll write them up on the board. Entrepreneurial courage, the very first part of entrepreneurial courage is first one, you've got to be absolutely 100% committed to your journey. You've got to be committed to it. You can't be half-assed with this thing, not with your team. If, you, if you're half-assed with your team, they're going to do a half-assed job. That will not get you a result. If you're in a sales situation and you're not committed in that sale, even if they don't buy, you're not committed to being fully uh, alive, but fully uh, congruent that your product or service can deliver what it says it can, then don't, you know, don't be an entrepreneur. You've got to be absolutely committed. It's got to be all in, because if it's not all in, it's a really tough, tough journey. But if you're all in, there's another little phase that most people don't tell you about. Entrepreneurial courage needs a second component, and that is doubt. Doubt you hear, like what? What's doubt about? Doubt is you don't know what's gonna happen. You've got plans, you've got visions, you wanna take the business somewhere, but no one knows what's gonna happen. And with all the changes in technology, who knows what's gonna happen? In the next two to four years, most industries are gonna get some form of massive change because of technology. But here's the thing, we don't know what's gonna happen, but we've gotta be able to live with the doubt. We've gotta live with the knowing that, you know, we don't know all the answers, and that is okay. Here's the third component. The third component, if you're committed, and be okay with, I don't know what's gonna happen necessarily. The next thing is you gotta take massive, massive action. And when I'm talking about massive action is the, 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 a lot of times I see people being a scattergun. We want you to be a fire hose. When you're looking at action, you wanna look at your very next step. Single focus, single action for your next step. Taking massive action. These are the three things that are super important to have entrepreneurial courage. Here's the truth. It's a lone, it, you know, in the military we would say a thing which was called the loneliness of command. Being an entrepreneur can be damn lonely. It can be pretty tough, you know. As an entrepreneur, you, you can't really talk to your team and tell them all the issues that are going on. You can't talk to your family if they don't have a business because they just don't understand. Even your intimate family, they won't understand. So who can you talk to? You can only talk to other entrepreneurs or uh, mentors or guides that can help you, that you can bounce ideas off. You know what? There's probably an entrepreneur you know. You know, we all know an entrepreneur that is through their ups and downs of their cycle, might be having a bit of a tough time. And what I'd love to do is uh, for you to share this message with them and just know that it's, that it's absolutely okay that entrepreneurial courage comes from these components. One of the things I'm absolutely committed to, I had a, an incredible career in the military, but I left that career because I could see that entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs were the people that made the biggest difference on the planet. They're the ones who uh, employed more people, they take the biggest risks, they're the innovators, they, they, are, they are the future. I've got three little kids and I wanna make sure that the future is even better than what it is today. And I know that entrepreneurs are the ones that can lead us to that place. How can we do that? We need entrepreneurs to have a huge amount of entrepreneurial courage. So share this with someone and let them increase and enhance their entrepreneurial courage.